Hey there folks and welcome to this video and here I'm going to be talking about some more EA Sports WRC stuff. I was expecting to wait till Wednesday but I'm not going to do something for the uh, creator hands on I don't think. Instead what I want to look at is the root list which has been released today with some new screenshots from the game which I think look really cool. So as I talk through it I'll show you some of the screenshots that they put on their site um, and I'll link the location of root list down below. And let's just walk through in terms of the names of the stages well not gonna name all of them but we'll go through it rally by rally in the orders on the website so the first one obviously monte carlo and they've listed the names the lengths and the surfaces and for monte carlo it says all tarmac and no surprises it's called a torini and when you look at the names some of them are going to be ones that you recognize you played uh, right to put no for example uh um la Palette vesubi is another one that you recognize if you're a fan of the WRC because again Cold Torini that's the one of the famous days that are attached to it. Then we go to Sweden and I see Vargasen in there and Alcyon which makes me presume that the stage is going to be the ones that we saw in Dirt Rally 2 especially like Hoffinskog but it's it's weird because I was under the impression that it was going to be the Ubia stages, but it sounds like it's still the Karlstad um, or Varmland kind of area stages. They're going to Mexico, and I think we've seen a lot of these stages before. Uh, with like they they use the famous names like uh, El Chocolate, El Tartes, um, Ortega, El Mosquito, El Brinco, Guadalatito, but we've seen that a lot of them don't necessarily map onto the real world and they said one of the things they said was they want to follow real world roads but also do things that would make it more entertaining and more different to the real world so i guess that's what we see um with mexico go to croatia and yeah a lot of these names are ones that you'll recognize from the rally as well i don't know anything about how the roads going to link up for this one so I can't go off of any information for that. Portugal. That's an interesting one though. Because Porto de Lima is a name that I recognise for example. Uh, Villa Boa I also recognise. But I was surprised that it wasn't, you know, Faf or Argonil. Because those for me, if you're going for a Portuguese stage, those would be ones that I would look at in terms of names. But when you look at what is in the stages, you see Cobblestone for a few percent tarmac um, a lot more it's proper mixed surface and i mean mexico's got some mix in the surface but it's more kind of gravel versus dirt whereas with portugal you've got gravel tarmac and cobble go on sardinia and you have some tarmac on some of the stages but it's gravel and sand and this is one of the things i find interesting is that it's listed as gravel and sand so i wonder how different those surfaces are going to be in handling i saw a lot of comments last video about the handling model where they said it looked like the physics were not all there it looked like the cars were a bit static i guess it's a difference between visual and feeling and like i said in the video i wasn't really going to be able to go off of much for it unless i you know was handling it myself I guess when you get to the creator's hands on, maybe they'll select the best bits, but maybe we'll get a better understanding of what it's like because we haven't even heard like John Armstrong talking about it. Meanwhile, Kenya, uh, the stages are gravel, rock and dirt for the combination. And I'm looking forward to see how that stacks up. It'll also be interesting to see how these stages are. I mean, I'm looking towards the end, you see Nakuru... Kanyawa and Kanyawa Nakura. So I'm wondering how it how different those different routes are going to be. Estonia now and Atepa is a name that uh jumps out. It's the first one on the list, so that's good that it jumps out to me. But I like the screenshot that we see of it. Um it, the roads look a bit wider than I would have expected for Estonia, but I guess we'll have to wait to compare kind of apples to apples when the game releases finland now i was surprised that this finland screen screenshot was um of the snow it makes me think that they don't that either that's the winter mode or they don't um have any screenshots for finland yet but i i was a bit disappointed that i didn't see um any of the unemployer stuff even though um of course, Unemployer hasn't been run in the WRC since 
where it was run as uh, Kakaristo in 2017, wasn't it? But the cars were getting too fast on safety cars. They could have run the full on employer. Uh, I would have loved to have that. But they got um, Payala, uh, for example. And I think that's what a lot of these stages will be based off of. That test instead. The Acropolis. And it's cool to see that that's where we've got that screenshot of the Cordoba from. And some of the names again stand out like Delphi. Um, or I can never remember how to pronounce this. Is it Bostes or... Uh, it's not bauxite, I know it's not that, but that's how it's colloquially referred to, a bit like how Epa is referred to as wipers in the English language because we can't comprehend other languages sometimes. But yeah, a mix of dirt and gravel. So I guess that might contribute to what kind of compounds you pick instead. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about um, Chile to go off of it, but uh, a lot of these to me, stand out as locations around the event. But then, of course, we've been to Chile twice, so it's not going to be much that stands out in terms of those names being iconic yet. And the same for Japan, though. Japan is all tarmac, and, of course, Chile, I've also said, all gravel. The thing that's interesting to me is when we get to the other bits, so Mediterranean, and these names are Italian, which, to me, speaks um, San Remo. It's this historic asphalt rally, I was really hoping that we would have um, Corsica. And again, I don't know if these map onto the real world at all. I guess we'll have to see when the routes are released in the game. But it looks nice. It's nice to see something like that back. The same when it comes to um, Pacifico, which is going to be Indonesia. It'll be another kind of comparison in that way rally maps is fantastic for that and you can see all these rallies have different sponsors i mean mediterranean doesn't Aegon by aoc is for pacifico oceana is fanatec and it's a shame it's new zealand but it, uh, i was hoping that you'd go for the um that we'd have the stages that we had in dirt rally 2 as well but i'll be interested to see how these new stages go and where they map onto in the real world i don't know i i'm I'm happy that EA is being more inventive with it. But I'm also a bit like, oh, it's a shame because I would have loved to have had those stages back again, but with, you know, hybrid Rally 1 cars and the Rally 3 cars. Rally Scandia doesn't have a sponsor attached to it, but it is Norwegian stages. And it's quite nice to put the screenshot of um, Henry Solberg's car. Though, by the looks of things, they have done... Um, Something that I, I wasn't necessarily a fan of in the previous games. And it looks like they've gone with a fictional number plate rather than one of the real world ones. I guess maybe with the way the game getting registered and reallocated all the time, you're not going to be able to get the um, real world ones every time. Now, Iberia doesn't have a sponsor to it. And again, like I said, in the um, original kind of announcement stuff that they had, um, I don't recognized I, I, I recognize Botterell for some reason but I don't really recognize these stages these stage names and the Central European Rally they haven't confirmed it yet because they said they'll update it when they have finalized what the route name is but yeah let me know your thoughts and section down below on it um for me I think it looks okay um it looks to me like a kind of hybrid of what we got with the Kyloton WRC games which I always pronounce Kyloton because I guess Kylo Ren was is the first thing that comes to mind with it because I'm a bit of a Star Wars nerd but it looks a bit like Dirt Rally 2.0 as well in the same way like different bits broken up different routes but there's a bit more variety in it like maybe some, one section gets cut out maybe one section gets added in I think it's going to be fun I think it's going to have enough change to it that you can get a good couple of hundred hours out of it. I think lots of people who are criticised it expect it to be like what 20 years of modders community has done to RBR. It's still going to be able to do that because it's not, you know, got 20 years of open source development on it. But I'm still looking forward to it. And judging by the comments and how many of you have come in and given feedback and talked about it, a lot of you are looking forward to it too. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope to see you around. Bye for now.